Hello guys, today I want to present you another new online course I released on Laravel Daily.com and topic of this course is new Laravel pennant which was released with Laravel 10 and this time it's a video course because it makes sense to demonstrate the new things as much as I like text-based courses recently, this time it's a video. Pretty short course, 26 minutes. At first I thought it would be a YouTube video, but then realized it deserves a deeper dive. So I release it as a course for premium members of Laravel Daily.com. But today here on YouTube, in this video, you will see the first lesson, which will be enough for you to understand what pennant is and whether you want to use it. So enjoy the video ahead and if you want the full course go to laraveldaily.com and subscribe to the membership. So Laravel Pennant is a new package that came with Laravel 10 to manage so-called feature flags. When you want to release some feature in your application but not to everyone under some condition. And let me demonstrate you a simple example so you would understand. So for example you have some kind of new feature. For example, I have a general application of Laravel Breeze with new menu item tasks. It is kind of a fake data, just list of tasks, but your goal is to release a new feature of task management, let's say. But you want to release that only for, let's say, premium users of your application, some kind of paid plan like gold members or premium members or whatever. Without pennant, you would need to have if statement. So if premium then show this menu item and also if premium in the controller show or hide or show like forbidden error or something. Pennant makes it easier and also saves the data for the session of that specific user whether the feature is enabled for that user for the rest of the lifetime of application or not until you remove that feature flag. Let me show you the code. So to enable some kind of feature, you create that feature in app service provider of your Laravel application. Before doing that, you need to install pennant just by doing composer require Laravel pennant like this. Current version is 1.1.1. Maybe you will watch this course a bit later. So your version may be different. And now we can do feature from pennant define. We define the feature with any name you want, for example, task or tasks management. And you need to define the function of whether that feature is enabled or not for specific user by default. There are more options, we will get to them, but by default, you do something like this. Function, callback function with a parameter of user, which is by default resolved to current logged in user, and then you return true or false. For example, user is premium or not. We cast that to boolean to return true or false and user is premium is a real database column in my database. So here I am in my user's database table. There's is premium by default false and we will enable that task management only for premium users. So this is how you define the rule. Now, how can you check that? There are a few ways. There are controller check, middleware, blade, directive. So you have a few options. In my case, what I would do two things. In navigation blade, in the menu item, I would hide the menu item if the feature is not enabled. And this is done with a blade directive called feature. And then you just provide the name of the feature. If tasks management is enable, then and feature. Like this. And now if we refresh our page, that menu item should be hidden. Refresh. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I forgot to migrate the data for pennant. So in addition to compose require, I forgot to run vendor publish and then migration. So I've copied that into terminal vendor publish and then PHP artisan migrate. And then it would create a features table. Now if we refresh our page, as you can see, the tasks menu item is gone which means for non-premium user, the feature is disabled. So that's how you protect from the front end. And from the back end, you can protect your routes with middleware. So for example, in routes web, let's close the terminal. In routes web here, we have route resource and we can assign a middleware to that with the name of features and then the name of the feature, which is tasks management. To enable that, we need to do one more thing in kernel file of app HTTP kernel. In Laravel 10, they renamed the variable name. It used to be route middleware from what I remember. Now it's middleware aliases. And we need to add features here. 
ensure features are active from pennant like this it is also added on my top here in the use section and now if we refresh our page we have an exception by default it's just http exception so no one would see that menu item so let's go to the dashboard i'm not a premium user there's no tasks here and even if i knew the url for example i would get the exception so this is kind of a quick demonstration how it works. Basically, you enable the feature for some group of your users, and then as soon as you're happy with the feature itself, then you either remove that or change that to have return true all the time, for example, to be enabled to everyone, or add another group of user roles or something and roll out the feature gradually to everyone. As I said in the beginning of this video, that helps to avoid if-else statements in various parts of controller, middleware routes, and blade, and have the logic in one place in app service provider. It's kind of like single responsibility principle as well. When I read about feature flags in general, I thought of them as roles and permissions. So what is different if I have gate define here, for example, it's actually even similar syntax gate define, right? Don't you think so? Gate define and then in the navigation blade, you would write can instead of feature. It's similar, right? But it's fundamentally different in the use cases. So feature is by definition temporary solution just for that first start of the feature. And by definition, this will change or be removed. Roles are for the all the life cycle of the application. But under the hood, Pennant has many more features than just that. So we will get through them in the next videos.